Hello everyone, and welcome to Dark Souls 2. Although you wouldn't know that looking at this. Uh, I don't know what it is. Anyway, we uh, skipped over the character creation because that's boring as shit and takes up a whole video. Um, what are you doing? I am getting ready to Dark Soul. <laughs> so... <laughs> you just fell off the stairs and, like, conked your head. Um... So this is from Software's newest baby, their cash cow, Dark Souls 2. That's a bonfire that you can ignore. I made a girl character this time, because last yeah. time I made a boy character, and I'm probably secretly transsexual. Uh, not secretly, just are. Um, hold on. Although the girl character really does look like a man. Oh, sorry, right, right, right. Bill Matt's here, and he's telling me to remind you what I'm playing as. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going to be playing as a depraved, because I'm hardcores, like that. Uh, that starts me off at le soul level 1, which is going to be really useful for min-maxing later for my dexterity intelligence wizard build. I have no idea what he's doing. I'm just here for the ride. I haven't played Dark Souls 1 yet. I haven't, but I haven't played it. Adola has played all the way through Dark Souls 1 because he's super try-hard and he loves the fuck out of it. you probably played through it a couple times, haven't you? No, just the once, actually. Oh, really? I'm yeah. Surprised. Whoops. Um, I, I will also mention that I have not played Dark Souls 2 yet. I, um... I, uh... I, I got to one of the little bits of the, the city, but then I stopped playing because it's more fun to be excited about what's happening. We have no idea if this is going to be a long play or just a first impression type deal. We're not sure. We're just... We, we, he just got the game. Uh, we wanted to play it. We have an opportunity here to record for a little while. So, yeah. This may go on for a while. It may be pretty short. Not sure at this point. So, um... Okay, so these are oh, this is the this tutorial, is the tutorial, but because but you I, already know it, yeah, yeah, I, I, it's the same controls. I played because I'm I'm playing as depraved. I didn't get a weapon or anything, which is why I'm here. Um, hmm. so Bill and I went to the uh, pre-release for this silly game, and if you didn't know, um, they were also doing the pre-release for Titanfall, and. To, to, much to my excitement, to our excitement, really, most of the people that were there for uh, Dark Souls. So, hopefully, this game isn't competing and challenging with Titanfall too much, and it's just sweeping the charts. <laughs> you haven't even played Titanfall; you're already trying to damn it. Well, I mean, I'm sure it's a good game. Oh, I'm sure it's a good game, but come on, let's be reasonable. <laughs> you just like this because you're a tryhard. You're extremely try hard. I don't know anybody as try hard as Dola. I don't know what you're talking about. You are the, the, the definition of try hard. So, I think what we're going to try to do is speed through as much as this is possible and just see how far I can get. And, uh, oh, wow, that was a really helpful place, you know, after I've already been using it. In the first Dark Souls. Bird. Yeah, in the first Dark Souls. Here, here, give it smooth. If you. Yes. Yeah, I don't know what they're wanting, but in the what first Dark Souls, the if you sit in this bird nest, it took you somewhere, but you had to wait there for two minutes. What shit balls? But I have no what guarantee that that'll work here. Dude, I don't know. Was that you? That obviously wasn't me. You're playing a female character. That doesn't mean shit. No. I don't know, I don't know anything about this. All I know is, I seriously, they need to... The, this keeps bugging me. The shoulders on the female characters are wide as hell. You look like a man who just, like, switched his head with that of a woman. Well, really, what is the difference? <laughs> I've never learned anatomy, so I'm asking a legitimate question here. Uh, well, you see, men get to vote. <laughs> <laughs> Damn women's suffrage. It's been a pain in my ass since the early 60s. Uh, you had an ass in the 60s, totally. What am I examining here? Oh, I see. I was about to say, probably the sign you're standing next to. Zip. Roll. Yeah. Amber herbs. 
I'm just kind of rolling with it. Oh, speaking it of rolling into begins. death. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's it. Game over. <laughs> this was hardcore mode. I, I don't like jumping in Dark Souls. It feels really weird. It always does. It looks really weird. It is. Uh, the jump button, you have to be running and hit in on the left stick. You have to click. Ah, uh, what? Yeah, it's really, really weird. Why would you do that? And on top of that, left clicking or the left stick is your movement. So. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh damn it! I'm depraved. I'm no longer. I thought it was kind of unhollowed. Or, yeah, I'm hollowed. Unhollowed would actually be alive. Oh. It's all good though. So that's why you're a zombie. Yeah. Gotcha. I don't need these. So you're already a fucking zombie. Yes. And you um, haven't even made it out of the tutorial yet. I, you know what, I'm not going to... kind of weird with the purple hair and the white glowing eyes. I'm not going to go through the rest of the tutorial. Let's just go straight into it. Whatever you say. Like I said, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going with it. I know that all of these messages are saying... Bullshit. Well, they're saying, welcome to the game. Because now we're in the hub world. Yeah. Majula. Um. So it's at this point that I don't, that I don't know a lot more. I know a little bit where I need to go. Um, I did some exploring around here, just playing around, getting used to playing again. There's this old sled over here. Who um? Are you the next monster? Not even old. Bearer of the curse. You don't know how old she is. She doesn't look old. By your side, till this she looks young, younger than you. This draws me nuts. <laughs> no mouth movements. movements. Her mouth doesn't move. Thanks for the Estus flask. You'll he who made King Vendrick. I'm oh, sorry. I know what she's going to say. <laughs> okay. And okay. does she have anything else? Okay. So, uh, yeah. So... Is there really a story to Dark Souls? Yes, actually, and it's pretty good. Um, it's like some like a, some like evil fog or something like that. It's taken over part of the land, I think. Some evil fog. <laughs> that I, would be Demon Soul. Oh. Yeah. So there's Demon Soul. I thought that I thought that was kind of the running theme there at all. Sorry, I've already <laughs> spoke to this guy before. I'm certain that you care, but all he's gonna <laughs> do is invite me into some stupid ass blue. <laughs> Group, blue group, Wait, the blue man group. Yeah, I see. Okay. Oh damn it! Did I just require or deny it? Maybe. It might have being as you're a fucking idiot. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna enter it because I, I think you can leave it at any time. So at this point, I have this thing called a blue coin or something stupid. Blue seal. That's it. <laughs> it gives you slightly more health if I'm not mistaken. Might be okay. the other one. I don't know. My point is, whenever I get invaded by another person, I um. I'll be able to uh, summon an ally for help. This guy's a big blacksmith whose door is locked. We'll come back to that. This is really all I know about the game. There's this big bitch in a uh, hole over here. Cool. Um, which is I have like a to well. Yeah, I have to buy this super expensive ring to jump down so I don't take all the fall damage. Uh, so that's really cool. And that is purchased in this house from this lovely shopkeeper. Oh, I'm dead, are we? Yep. What? That's a shopkeeper. The shopkeeper's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in here, what? In here is some dude who sells some overpriced shit and he stutters all the time, so I refuse to speak to him. <laughs> Nairobian Gen idiot. Genius. Um, oh, then I know about this little secret, and I swear this is all I know. <laughs> You've been saying that a lot. Oh. And that gives me an Estus flask shard, which gives me a second charge to my Estus flask. Oh, I know over here's a little item, but didn't we already all know that? <laughs> um, you were so full of shit. And what else? Oh, down there, it, I already went down there, I didn't find shit. Up here is where you can sign up for another covenant called the Champion Covenant, which evidently just makes all the enemies harder, which I'm all about, but yeah, I would, I'd rather uh, experience the game. Uh with the ability to participate in PvP. Because that's a PvE uh, covenant. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah. So like, I think it would actually make the game. So how less does the fun. PvP work? It just people select you and say, "I'm going to come kick your ass." Well, if it's anything like Dark Souls Two, they'll just this show is up. This Dark Souls Two. So I'm sorry, probably Dark, is. Souls, Dark Souls One. If it's anything like that, um, they're going to come in at random times and fight me, and that's actually pretty cool and a lot of fun. However, I think because this is. This is just a few days after launch. The servers have been fucked. So we've got no way to, to actually do this. Alright, we're almost getting there. I died once. That's good. It still not as impressive as Bayonetta because you don't have flat, fucking butterflies coming out your ass. I also don't have a suit made of hair and That's show true. off my twat with every <laughs> flip. No, you don't do any of that. You kind of have a shitty suit. You'd probably like a hair suit at this point. I would love a suit made of my own hair. I guarantee well, you. I kind of have one. I'm not a particularly furry man, but... <laughs> Fair right. enough. I swear I'm almost out of secrets that I know about. Uh, that I, wasn't really much of a secret. Yeah, but you seen that guy over there with that thing floating on him? Yeah. You come out here, take a ride, and go up the river. Why then, couldn't you go get it from where you were? Because you'll fall into the river and drown. Cat, cat mass, Dark Souls here can't swim with a shit, <laughs> but he can fight fucking Satan or whatever it is that he needs to do. So, okay, we're almost, I'm almost out of things. That'll be cool. <laughs> um, you lying bastard! I really haven't played though. I mean, I'm excited. I've been waiting to play. So what? This is called the Forest of Giants. There aren't that big of trees. <laughs> well, we don't know what we're dealing with yet. I just assumed it meant the trees were jumping in. They're not. Loft gems. Oh, hello. So yeah, for those of you who know nothing about Dark Souls, uh, the ghosts that you see around are actually other players. Oh, sorry, yeah. Going through the same part. Most people probably know that, but in case you just yeah, the, have completely missed the whole Dark Souls phenomenon, and which it really is at this point. I mean, those, those are real players. Oh, also something I noticed, um, you start the game off with not it's not the um, Lord Vestal, um, what? It, it's the ability to, to warp between bonfires. You you don't start or er, oh if uh, my point is you can travel between bonfires right from the get go. And the reason is that something you had to unlock in Dark Souls yeah, One. Yeah, and the reason is because you don't level up on your own accord. You oh is that good? Is that nope. shooty man over there. Um, once you get enough souls, you have to take them to that that lady who I called an old bitch who was actually younger than me. Yep. And then that's that's the way the. So uh, she's where you level up at. Yeah. Gotcha. Hello. I've always been impressed with the way the combat flows in this game. It it seems pretty organic to me. It teaches you patience, yeah. or forces you into patience rather. Alright, and then there's this little guy, he's not much of a threat. Uh, Alright, there we go. So I guess these are just zombies, basically? Yeah. Alright, and in all seriousness, I am, <laughs> I am officially out of things to know about. I really didn't do much around here. I mean, I kind of have a clue what's going on, but not really. I, I quit playing and intentionally. That makes sense. Except for all the parts where it doesn't. There's these guys. And there's this big white dude over here who looks Hell. awesome. Oh, oh. Oh. Is he alive? Uh, he is. Ooh. You are not doing well, sir. Hold on, let me get a sip of my Sunny D. Boom. Very cool. Oh, are you immune to damage while you're drinking that? No, not at all. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I decided to go for that. That cool. Uh. Yep. Little cat. <laughs> Going balls Come deep. On. Uh, I don't want to fight that man at all. He is alive. I don't know what he does, um, but he's not aggressive inherently. He which doesn't look like it. Yeah. Which means he's uh, he'll be useful later. Yeah. Stabbing in the back. Praise the sun. Those are helpful. They are actually. Sometimes the community messages are really cute and super helpful. I'm sure sometimes they are. Those were not. N no. <laughs> I have uh, a feeling that most of them are not. My favorite ones are the ones that mislead you into death. Like, 
Um, but but we're truthful all along until you realized it. The what? What are you? I don't understand what don't... those words mean when you put them together that way. Oh, <sighs> too easy. Okay, we're man. We are just just chugging along here. Are we? Yeah, we are. We're not missing anything. Oh, I got what you're saying. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna be leveling up definitely gonna be stamina. That's the sweetest, sweetest thing in the game. I thought you were doing decks. Well, yeah, but you see that green bar? Yes. That's stamina. That gotcha. matters more than anything. Oh. Um, a broken straight sword. That's Fortunately, useful. that doesn't do jack shit. Broken weapons are fucking awful. Broken? This. Yes. <laughs> they do no damage. I would assume so. All right, here we go. You got a dagger. Why would you need a broken sword? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I kind of jumped in out of nowhere. <laughs> that was pretty easy. All right. You got an axe. Hmm. Take what the uh, path less, least as traveled. Gorgeous, gorgeous view. Eh. Oh, something's shooting me. Oh, there he is. Hello. The thing. So those are the souls you got to collect in order to level up. Yeah. Okay. Fucking this guy, <laughs> man. <laughs> No one hits me this frequently. Except that guy. And... Jump Town. So Bloodstains, I'm trying to remember, those show you the death of another character. Yeah, I'll show you. So let's take a look at this Bloodstain. So it shows what he did. This guy came over, picked up the item. He's thinking, duh, uh, but then he gets shot in the back probably by that archer like a big... It would have run right Dude. past that archer. I know. Kind people, of an idiot. People are dumb. Yes, they are. I met this girl at college who didn't know what a continent was. I've been really upset <laughs> with, <laughs> with everyone since. Oh, that's funny. I know. Oh, when I was in a when I was in a geography class, um, we had uh, we were like going over statistics for Egypt, I think. And it said universal suffrage after age 18, you know, just listing off the stats. And he asked four female members of the class what suffrage meant. None of them had any idea. <laughs> I, I, it physically hurt me. Like, I'm like, how could you not know this? How could you not? Especially being females. Why does it look like you have a whole bunch of weapons? I do, because I have the day one pre-order. Oh, is that what all that stuff is? Yeah, it's stupid. So oh, okay, so I can't go... Alright, let me explain what my situation is. Okay. I have one weapon that works. That's this piece of shit dagger. Yep. Otherwise, I have fists. Yep. That little red bar underneath my dagger indicates it's, um... Like, it's... Health? <laughs> yeah. Now, when I rest at a bonfire, that health goes all the way back up, but all the enemies come back alive, too. Now, there's going to be a bonfire soon, uh, but if I get there and my weapon breaks, if it breaks, I have to get it repaired, um, which costs souls, and I don't even have that ability yet. Alternatively, I could put the weapon away and try to go fisticuffs, but that's going to be a lot more challenging. Yep. So, I need another weapon. Unfortunately, I am weak as hell at 800 souls if I just simply go back home, teleport, take up, eat all the souls that I've just gained, and then level up a bit and come back with a weapon that I can use. I lost 400 what? You lost 400 souls in your last blood stain. Whenever you died in that hole. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, um, actually... No. Um... So you didn't get... Okay, you lost 400 souls from death. Yeah, and I'll When you were a fucking idiot. I'll and show rolled you. into nothing. So, right there, um... Hold on. That number is how many I have, which is 800. This number is how many it takes to level up, and this number, the 1,130, is the total number of souls I've ever gained. Including ones you've lost. 
Yes. Gotcha. All right, so um, we're going to have to go back. I have to level up my strength and dex just a little bit in order to carry a new weapon. Then I can get through there. Okay. And, uh, and then you do that. Yeah, and then I guess we'll call that an episode. Sounds good. This is pretty easy so far. Well, yeah, you're barely past the tutorial. That don't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know the tutorial from the fucking first game was a giant asylum demon, but once you jumped on his head, you pretty much insta-killed him. Yeah, there's no boss fought for the tutorial, which I don't get. Which I'm kind of disappointed by. I I think. I'm sure there'll be a boss soon enough that'll beat the shit out of you. Hey, look, it's that woman. What? What the... Light the torch. What? Oh, great. You just waste that torch. I don't... What is this? Is what? this a mechanic I'm not familiar with? This wasn't in Dark Souls 1? No. Interesting. It's got a timer over your torch, I so... I see that. I mean, that... That's how long your torch will last. More or less makes sense. Oh, did I just put my torch I don't think out? so. Oh, okay. You just shoved it in your vagina for safekeeping. I'm very, very curious. Okay, so guaranteed, there's something in the game that r pertains to... Light? Lighting torches. Um... Which is going to be really very irritating. Very likely. Because they're everywhere. Oh, there won't be a catacombs again, will there? Sounds like something that there could be. Where are you going? Um, I was... I'm... Well, dang, I was hoping that I would find a thing. A torch. I've seen them everywhere in the tutorial region. Um, or, I'm sorry, empty, or unlit torches. That's uh, what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You're just trying to light... You trying to find torches on the wall to light? Um, they were... Well, you know what? We'll find one, I'll point it out, and then you go, Oh yeah, I kept seeing those too. I probably wasn't paying attention. Although... You were talking, so I was, you know... Mesmerized. In a daze, just barely even here. <laughs> it's kind of like when you're in class and you really don't give a fuck about what the professor's saying. That kind of thing. Am Not I, that I ever do that, because I'm an excellent student. Am I a professor in your eyes, box? Uh, no. I don't have that kind of respect for you. You're so sweet. You're a fag. Hold on, I'm Hope looking. Hope you die in a fire. Alright, so there's nothing. A painful fire that rapes you in the butt first. That's rude as hell. Yes, it is. Alright. Level up already. I am. I'm leveling up right Said you now. were going to do that forever ago. Okay, let me use all my souls. Use. Boom. Now you don't have to use each of them individually, which took fucking ever. Use them all. Now, what will it take for me to equip the short sword? It will take... Seven and ten. Seven strength. Alright, let me get that dex right up. Then, for misery, you will never... See. Once you have found so that hope will... Okay. Is that a shard? Yes. <laughs> to see light, however... There we go, finally. Jesus, fuck. Upgrade my Estus Flask. Oh, uh, you upgraded with the shard? Yep. Interesting. And now I have two hits of it. Now we level up. Slam back two shots of Estus, I guess. Strength is seven. Oh, strength is seven. Yeah. Seven. Dex to ten. ten dex. And I get to put one towards endurance. Yay. Now, I would never, ever balance myself like that. Ever. I hate balanced characters. <laughs> but you I are the kind of motherfucker who min maxes like hell. Okay, there we go. But now I can have two weapons, which is a a big deal. Yeah. Okay. You say so. I do hate weapon degradation. It's like the fucking Statue of Liberty from hell. What? <laughs> what happened in your past life? She's holding the torch and stuff. And she has oh my. Fucking dead 
My eyes. character, I thought you were talking about weapon degradation as the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> of hell. Weapon degradation is the Statue of Liberty from hell. Jesus. No, I was talking about you. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a seizure. <laughs> Good, healthy way to end the video. Well, well uh, that's it for this episode. Like if you liked the video, subscribe for some more. We will see you next time with more of this. Bye bye. Hell yes! This dude looks awesome!